Welcome, folks, to tonight's game. This one promises to be a good one between the Boise State Broncos and the Colorado State Rams. Number 30 is the player we're focusing on in this game tonight. He's got great offensive skills and to go with it, some solid defense. The Rams will clearly rely on him to make contributions on both ends of the floor. The Rams know this could go either way, Dick. What are the keys to their success tonight? These are the keys for me, Brad. Number one, the point guard has to be the coach on the floor, making sure his team executes on every possession. Secondly, get the ball on the interior. See if he can get their big men into foul trouble. And lastly, don't get away from what got you here on defense. Don't try and do too much defensively. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Number 30 fakes the shot with the fadeaway jumper. Look at that follow through. They still don't score. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. He looks at the hoop. Now they work it around the perimeter on the dribble. Gives it up. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Launches away. Off the rim and no good. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He is going to the line. Makes the first. miss that opportunity either. Wow, the screener is back to school on that pick. And a momentary look from three-point land. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Look at that student body. They are going mad. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. They work it around the perimeter. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. I have to see that one again. The ball goes out of play. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Watch out, five-second call approaching. A little frustration right there. Gave it up. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. They look to get it to the inside. Fake. For the bucket. I tell you, does a great job getting close position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible. It's not. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Trying to go inside. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Now the high screen. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. 
And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. On the dribble, gives it up. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. He fakes the shot. Listen to that response. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. Trying to feed inside. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. Aaron's right about that. Dick. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times you have a great post play, you got a chance really to win. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to He got the bucket to go, and he'll have the chance to add one more. He saw the foul coming, Brad, but he got it up anyway. Number 50 sees his first action of the day. Man, I love to watch this kid play, Brad. He's the type of player who knows how to really lift the team. Number 24 gets the pass. Turnaround jumper. Can't get the shot to go. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Number 24 is whistled for the foul. First personal foul. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. He'll visit the charity strike. Concentration, got to concentrate. Boy, Rick sure. City. The center with the ball. That has some folks out of their seats. Hey, that reaction says it all. These fans are ecstatic, Brad. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Dumps it in. He goes with a jump hook and off the mark. Controlling the ball. Up and inside. Number 43 takes the pass. Way off target. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. From the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. The power forward gets the ball. And the fans are going wild. This place is rocking and rolling, baby. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. They work the perimeter. Faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Number 21 takes the feed from left of the circle. 
Oh, you got to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass in the paint for the bucket. Makes the shot. Number 30 is receiving enthusiastic response from the crowd. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. Shoots from outside. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside troopers. They've got to attack inside and then out. He shoots from left of the circle. He's taking his team out of the game plan with these shots, Dick. Yeah, and even if he were hitting them, Brad, they're still bad shots. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He got hops <laughs> like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. <laughs> On the inside. And one too many dribbles and a steal. There's a double team waiting there. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. Perfectly executed. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Nice fake. He unloads a three. He buries the shot. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Gave it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. Number 15 hits the three. Looking for a good shot. Got some room. Good fake. Pushing that basketball. Fakes it. That's a foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. It's the first. Second shot is no good. Rebounding is such an effort thing. Getting to the glass, blocking out. There aren't enough good rebounding teams in the nation. Up and inside. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now a spin move to the goal. At the free throw line. Opportunity. Gets the first shot.
Makes those free throws count. He wants to go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. He gets the rejection. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's crawling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. And the fans here are loving the action. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on it. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. He unloads. Colorado State are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Takes the pass in the paint. Oh, clinical drop step. I tell you, clinic 101. Realize the drop step from the low post. On the dribble, gives it up. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. From the top of the circle, tickles a twine. Number 30 is eager and excited to compete. Hey, whether you win or lose, you shouldn't be afraid to show your emotions. And he'll kick it back outside. Unloads. That's an ill-advised shot. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Kicks it out. Moving it around the perimeter. Number 43 is charged with the foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Number 11 goes to the line for the first time. Misses the first shot. Seven on answer. Gets his third. In the paint. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play. He goes to the line. He hits it. Hits the second. The student section is all rallied up and they are ready to battle. Oh yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Gave it up. Ten seconds to get a shot off. Off the rim and no good. He takes the shot. Way off target. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. With the fake. 
Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Adam, momentary look from three-point land for the bucket. Perfectly executed. They'll work it around the arc. Goes up for two. And off the mark. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Great play to take that to the basket. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. turnover that's a high post screen goes to the lane he strips him clean In there, but no foul called there. I tell you, good call by the official. Not blowing the whistle. I think it's an excellent call. He draws a foul. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going whacking. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot. Get help from the help side and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Basket falls despite the contact. <laughs> Work it inside and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork to and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Number 50 with the foul. Third personal foul. Number 20 gets in on the action for the first time tonight. He has a great presence when he steps on the floor, Brad. He got it. Gets two at the charity strike. A double team. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebounding position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Turns it over. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. With the jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, he's having fun with the opponent's stick. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. The Broncos are at the bottom of the emotional scale at the moment. They can really be in some trouble right here, Dick. And they're doing things that a JV team wouldn't do. Emotionally, they are definitely down. 
Looking to move it around the perimeter. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? On the dribble and gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Colorado State are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. Well, wow, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. A high screen. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great that you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. He strokes it, sinks it. Number 24. The fake. For two, they still don't score. Shot clock is dead. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Off the rim and no good. At the half, the Broncos are down by 12. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. Boise State had a horrible first half, Dick, in turning the ball over. I see a lot of guys out there thinking too much when they have the ball. When you think too much on the basketball court, they try to be Aristotle, man. They got to be basketball players. The opposition has time to react. You can't let them have that advantage. Our focus player update, Dick Vitales, going into the second half. What does he need to do, you think? I think you ought to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the opportunity. I think his teammates have to screen for him. Can't get the shot to drop. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul, Dick. He's out of control, baby, out of control. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Goes up for two, and he missed. Double team now, bad angle. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. Great anticipation defensively. The center gets the pass. Here's the offensive, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Looking for a good shot. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up, and they're ready to try to help their team. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. With a jump hook. 
I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Turn around jumper. In and out. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Blocks it. On the dribble, gives it up. Steals a pass. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Here's a flash from the post up high. For two, doesn't go. They work it around the perimeter. They move it into the front court. They still don't score. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. There's the trap. He attempts the three. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. And off the mark. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help solid. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Can't get the shot to go. Jumped in front to take it away. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And here's a look at the foul situation. Well, Brad, following and knowing when the foul is an important part of the game. If you have fouls to give, sometimes it's better to commit one rather than giving up an easy basket. Got a man in high post. The point guard takes the feed. From the top of the key. They're having a rough time getting them to drop, Brad. They should take it to the basket and get some easy hoops. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Tries for two. No luck finding the basket the last few trips down court, Dick. What they need are some easy layups or a couple of nice putbacks. This is just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Attempts a jump hook. You can't go those kind of stretches against a team of this quality and expect to win. Gave it up. Takes away the pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. 
He takes the shot off the baseline. Another brick, baby. Building a new arena. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Number 15 makes a great move to draw the foul. Number 32 comes back out onto the floor. Major swing and energy with him back on the floor, Brad. No good. Not a very good night at the line, Dick. Absolutely no excuse for that, Brad. No excuse. He makes the second. Moving it around the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. And he scores despite the hack. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. The dribble gives it up. Time to pick up the defense here now. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Dump it inside. High post screen, gonna use it. There's the block. Ten on the shot clock. The ball goes out of bounds. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Guys, he seems very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back to you. All right, thanks, Aaron. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. On the outside. The ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. That's a great response by this crowd. What a response. What enthusiasm. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. For the bucket, and he missed. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. He shoots from outside, way off target. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. Goes up for two. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. The Broncos have a number of seniors in their lineup. That factor alone will definitely help their cause. For two, and in and out. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. Let's it fly. Off the rim and no good. 
Looking to move it around the perimeter. He fires it up. He hits it. Number 11, 42. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made. Blocked. Nice job defensively. Looking for a good shot. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Tries for two. They still don't score. The center takes the pass. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Number 13 comes up with it. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Coach looks on. Focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Boise State have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Gave it up. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? It's crazy in here, Brad. Look at that spacing. There he is, strips the ball loose. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Moving it around the perimeter. For the bucket, perfectly executed. This is an old-fashioned stopping. These shots are falling from everywhere. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. And the ball goes out of bounds. Working it around the perimeter. There they come with a double team to stop it. Leans in. Great play to take that to the basket. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Goes up for two. He forces another bad shot. That is not how you win ball games, Mr. Nestler. They work the perimeter. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. They're definitely having some fun out there. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end. Plus, you get people into foul trouble. Misses the second shot. A less than stellar performance, I'd say, at the line tonight. Less than stellar. You too nice a guy, Brad. They're shooting horribly from the line tonight. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. 
On the dribble, gives it up. Puts it up, looking for contact. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Brad, this crowd will be in a frenzy if they can get a basket on this possession. They'll work it around the arc. Picked out of the air. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Dickey's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. The power forward with the ball. There's a double team waiting there. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Absolute mayhem. This place will be in disarray, Dick, if they can get a stop. He comes away with it. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Nice high post screen. He puts it in with contact and all. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever is necessary to help their team win. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. For the bucket. Off the mark with a shot. Jumped in front to take it away. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He has taken his team completely out of this game. These young guys have to remember to let the game come to you. Don't force the action. They're working around the perimeter. Gave it up. Number 43 is pounded on his way up. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He'll go to the line. Misses. his second shot. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Number 54 walks out to get his first minutes tonight. They have such a deep bench, Brad. This kid could start for any program in the land. Except this one, apparently. Well, you never know what the story really is. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Shoots. Off the rim and no good. Up it inside. The shooting guard receives the pass for the deuce. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Moving it around the perimeter. Working it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. They work the perimeter. Here's a double team. Looking to move it around the perimeter. 
The Rams have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. It's a deep possession. They must score here, baby. Timeout. They want to talk it over right here. And with that timeout, we go to the third member of our broadcast team, Aaron. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Six points separating these two squads. This is no time to get complacent, Brad. Number 21 is trying to get the fans involved now. I think he feels the importance of this offensive possession. They got to foul quickly here. I need to see that again in slow-mo. Pushes it up. Got to get one in this possession, baby. Picks off the pass. Tries for two. They have to foul to put them on the line and hope they miss. I got to be sure they'll continue to look to foul here, Dick. They have to foul in order to stop the clock, Brad. the foul. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. Number 13 to the line for the one and one. Buries it. Makes his second shot. The lead trickles down to four. Time is either your best friend or your worst enemy at this point, Brad. Cross court. He looks for the bomb. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. As we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors that are important in close games. Hits his second. They call for a T.O., Dick. Hey, time is their worst enemy at this point, Brad. They're going to have to bear down and get some stops, then convert at the other end. We'll see who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. He puts it up. Can't seem to find the stroke from the arc, Dick. And then missing wide open looks too, Brad. Our focus player update our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's circle. Colorado State played well against a good team tonight for the win. But two teams like this, you knew the game was going to be close. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nutt.